Sphingolipids are lipids that are not derived from glycerol. Like phospholipids, sphingolipids are amphipathic, having a polar head group and two nonpolar hydrocarbon tails, one of which is derived from a fatty acid. Sphingolipids are structural components of cellular membranes. They are derived from the molecule shown here, sphingosine, a long chain nitrogen containing amino alcohol. And the reason it's called an amino alcohol is because we have an amino group which is protonated and we have two alcohol groups here. The reason the amino group exists actually in a protonated form like this, NH3+, is because at physiological pH, an amine, which is NH2, will be protonated to an ammonium derivative, like is shown here. The sphingolipids include the sphingomyelins and glycosphingolipids. The sphingomyelins are the only class of sphingolipids that are also phospholipids. In sphingomyelin, the acyl group of the fatty acid is bonded to the sphingoseed through an amide bond. And here's the fatty acid shown over here. They don't show the tail, they just put an R group, but you can see that it's bound to sphingosine through this amide bond shown here. And here's the amide bond. And the reason that sphingomyelins are phospholipids is because they have this phosphocholine group here, with, of course, a phosphorus atom. Sphingomyelins are located throughout the body, but are particularly important structural lipid components of nerve cell membranes. They are found in abundance in the myelin sheath that surrounds and insulates cells of the central nervous system. In humans, about 25% of the lipids of the myelin sheath are sphingomyelins. Their role is essential to proper cerebral function and nerve transmission. Glycosphingolipids or glycolipids include the cerebrosides, sulfatides, and gangliosides and are built on a ceramide backbone structure, which is a fatty acid amide derivative of sphingosine. Here's the structure of ceramide right here. The cerebrosides are characterized by the presence of a single monosaccharide head group. Two common cerebrosides are shown here. Glucocerebroside found in the membranes of macrophages, which are cells that protect the body by ingesting and destroying foreign microorganisms, and galactocerebroside, which is found almost exclusively in the membranes of brain cells. Glucocerebroside consists of a ceramide bonded to the hexose glucose. And galactocerebroside consists of a ceramide joined to the monosaccharide galactose. Steroids are a naturally occurring family of organic molecules of biochemical and medical interest. A great deal of controversy has surrounded various steroids. We worry about the amount of cholesterol in the diet and the possible health effects. We are concerned about the use of anabolic steroids by athletes wishing to build muscle mass and improve their performance. However, members of this family of molecules derived from cholesterol have many important functions in the body. The bile salts that aid in the emulsification and digestion of lipids are steroid molecules, as are the sex hormones testosterone and estrone. The steroids are members of a large, diverse collection of lipids called isoprenoids. All of these compounds are built from one or more five carbon units called isoprene. And the structure of isoprene, I'll put it right here. So it's a, it's a five carbon diene. So this is iso isoprene. Terpene is the general term for lipids that are synthesized from isoprene units. Examples of terpenes include the steroids and bile salts, the lipid-soluble vitamins, chlorophyll, and certain plant hormones. All steroids contain the steroid nucleus or steroid carbon skeleton that is shown here. And so all steroids will have this A, B, C, D ring skeleton in this exact same configuration. Here it is showing all of the different carbon atoms. I won't fill them all in. But whenever you look at, say, a bunch of molecules, and whenever you see this ABCD ring structure like this, which we call the steroid nucleus or this carbon skeleton of the steroid nucleus, you know immediately that you have some kind of steroid derivative. The steroid carbon skeleton consists of four fused rings. Each ring pair has two carbons in common. Thus, two fused rings share one or more common bonds as part of their ring backbones. For example, rings A and B, B and C, and C and D are all fused in these structures. 
Many steroids have methyl groups attached to carbons 10 and 13, as well as an alcohol alkyl group or a ketone group at carbon 17. Cholesterol, a common steroid, is found in the membranes of most animal cells. It is an amphipathic molecule and is readily soluble in the hydrophobic region of membranes. It is involved in the regulation of the fluidity of the membrane as a result of the nonpolar fused ring. However, the hydroxyl group, shown here, is polar and functions like the polar heads of sphingolipids and phospholipids. There is a strong correlation between the concentration of cholesterol found in the blood plasma and heart disease, particularly atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. Cholesterol, in combination with other substances, contributes to a narrowing of the artery passageway. As narrowing increases, more pressure is necessary to ensure adequate blood flow and high blood pressure or hypertension develops. Hypertension is also linked to heart disease. Egg yolks contain a high concentration of cholesterol, as do many dairy products and animal fats. Doctors used to recommend that cholesterol intake should be no more than 300 mg per day. In 2015, the guidelines were changed due to research showing that dietary cholesterol doesn't contribute to blood cholesterol levels. It is suggested that we continue to monitor dietary cholesterol intake because foods high in cholesterol also tend to be high in saturated fats. Bile salts are amphipathic derivatives of cholesterol that are synthesized in the liver and stored in the gallbladder. The principal bile salts in humans are cholate and chenodeoxycholate. Bile salts are emulsifying agents whose polar hydroxyl groups interact with water and whose hydrophobic regions bind to lipids. Following a meal, bile flows from the gallbladder to the duodenum, the uppermost region of the small intestine. Here, the bile salts emulsify dietary fats into small droplets that can be more readily digested by lipases, or lipid digesting enzymes, that are also found in the small intestine. Steroids play an important role in the reproductive cycle. In a series of chemical reactions, cholesterol is converted to the steroid progesterone, the most important hormone associated with pregnancy. Produced in the ovaries and in the placenta, progesterone is responsible for both the successful initiation and the successful completion of pregnancy. It prepares the lining of the uterus to accept the fertilized egg. Once the egg is attached, progesterone is involved in the development of the fetus and plays a role in the suppression of further ovulation during pregnancy. Testosterone, a male sex hormone found in the testes, and estrone, a female sex hormone, are both produced by the chemical modification of progesterone. These hormones are involved in the development of male and female sex characteristics. Many steroids, including progesterone, have played important roles in the development of birth control agents. 19 norprogesterone was one of the first synthetic birth control agents. It is approximately 10 times as effective as progesterone in providing birth control. However, its utility was severely limited because this compound could not be administered orally and had to be taken by injection. A related compound, norlutin, was found to provide both the strength and effectiveness of norprogesterone and could be taken orally. Currently, combination oral contraceptives are prescribed most frequently. These include a progesterone and an estrogen. These newer products confer better contraceptive protection than either agent administered individually. They are also used to regulate menstruation in patients with heavy menstrual bleeding. First investigated in the late 1950s and approved by the FDA in 1961, there are at least 30 combination pills currently available. All of these compounds act by inducing a false pregnancy which prevents ovulation. When oral contraception is discontinued, ovulation usually returns within three menstrual cycles. Although there have been problems associated with the pill, it appears to be an effective and safe method of family planning for much of the population. In 2015, an estradiol transdermal patch for the prevention of postmenopausal osteoporosis was approved in the United States. Cortisone is a steroid important to the proper regulation of a number of biochemical processes. For example, 
It is involved in the metabolism of carbohydrates. Cortisone is also used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, and gastrointestinal orders, many skin conditions, and a variety of other diseases. However, treatment with cortisone is not without risk. Some of the possible side effects of cortisone therapy include fluid retention, sodium retention, and potassium loss that can lead to congestive heart failure. Other side effects include muscle weakness, osteoporosis, gastrointestinal upsets and peptic ulcers, and neurological symptoms including vertigo, headaches, and convulsions. Aldosterone is a steroid hormone produced by the adrenal cortex and secreted into the bloodstream when blood sodium ion levels are too low. Upon reaching its target tissues in the kidney, aldosterone activates a set of reactions that cause sodium ions and water to be returned to the blood. If sodium levels are elevated, aldosterone is not secreted from the adrenal cortex and the sodium ions filtered out of the blood by the kidney will be excreted. Waxes are derived from many different sources and have a variety of chemical compositions depending on the source. Paraffin wax, for example, is composed of a mixture of solid hydrocarbons, usually straight chain compounds. The natural waxes generally are composed of a long chain fatty acid esterified to a long chain alcohol. Because the long hydrocarbon tails are extremely hydrophobic, waxes are completely insoluble in water. And so the functional group found in a wax is just an ester group. The difference between a wax and a normal ester, like we've seen before in this class, like ethyl acetate, let's say, is that the R groups are very long hydrocarbon tails. Waxes are also solid at room temperature, owing to their high molecular weights. Two examples of waxes are miracil palmitate, a major component of beeswax, and whale oil, or spermaceti wax, from the head of the sperm whale, which is composed of cetyl palmitate. Naturally occurring waxes have a variety of uses. Lanolin, which serves as a protective coating for hair and skin, is used in skin creams and ointments. Carnauba wax is used in automobile polish. Whale oil was once used as a fuel in ointments and in candles. However, synthetic waxes have replaced whale oil to a large extent because of efforts to ban the hunting of whales.